Hey guys, it's me, Fly Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this paper rose. I did a really bad job with this. I think I should have like spread the petals more, but I can change that since I kind of already stuck it together and stuff. But I hope you guys can do it better than I did. And if you do end up trying this DIY, please DM me a picture of it and my Instagram will be in the description box down below. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kai Crafty and I do DIY crafts. And yeah, please don't forget to like this video, comment anything, or if you want to start a conversation. And please subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, let's get on with this video. So what you're going to need for this DIY is some paper, some hot glue, a wire, a protractor. Sorry to interrupt, this is Future Quiet Crafty, just saying it was a compass, not a protractor, and continue. Circle shape, and some scissors. So let's get on with the video and you're just going to take your protractor and I'm going to just put my pencil in first. Then I'm going to measure half of a circle. So I'm going to make it around half one and a half inches and I'm just gonna make a circle on the paper and this paper is gonna probably hold around six circles and you're gonna need around 24 so you're gonna need four sheets of paper and I'm just gonna speed up this process So after that, you're just going to need to cut all your pieces, and there you go. Now you're going to unravel your wire, and you're going to need it to be around twice as long as you want them, and cut them with your scissors. And then you're going to need a second piece, which is around the same size as it. And you're also going to just cut that. And now just set your wire aside, just make sure you twist the wire to secure it back in place. Then you're going to take your two pieces of wire. And then you're just going to twist it. Hold on, let me just show you closer up. You're just going to take your two wires and hold it firmly and just twist it. Make sure you try to twist it as close to the end as possible and just twist it the entire way down. And once you're done, you can see that it's a braid and then you're going to fold this in half and just make sure you firmly do that. Just press it in half and let me show you. And now you're just going to do the same thing again and just twist it so you have a firmer stem for your flower. And if your wire isn't as thin as mine, I don't think you need to do this. You just need it to be half, but yeah. And once you're done, you're going to take your first petal and get your hot glue and you're going to first glue the top of this of the stem and place the hot glue 
in almost close to the middle as you can and just hold it there and I accidentally burn my thumb again I keep doing that and you're just gonna fold the flower petal over and just hold it so the hot glue dries a bit then you're going to glue the other side of your petal and fold it over so just twist it around and I burnt my finger again I don't even know how many times I do that and just hold it there till the glue is dried Then I'm going to show you again with another petal, just this time you're going to hot glue the center of your petal and press it around the opposite side of how the petal is showing. So if you have like a longer side, then you put at the front side where the other petal isn't that high. I don't know how to explain this. So, another way of attaching a petal is with regular Elmo's glue and some scotch tape. So, you're going to take your petal and measure around where you want it to be. And I want it to be around there. So it looks like a proper flower. And just take it off and measure around where the halfway point is. You have eyeball it. And I'm just waiting for my glue to go down. So, put just like a small dot of glue, don't put too much. And place your petal right there and just hold it so it's, you're sure it's stuck there and just bend this down if it doesn't sit on the table then just fold over your petal as you did last time let me just and now take a piece of tape fold it over and just Put it on your flower and take a second piece and just fold it over and tape this. Hold on. And that's another way of doing it. It's not as clean as the hot glue one, but it works. So that's how you're going to do it. And now to get that sort of curled rose, you're going to use a wooden pencil or you can use wooden dowel, whatever is like a circular shape, and just twist it on. And for some weird reason, my flower petals didn't want to curl that nicely and it kept just make, staying its regular shape. So. I kind of had a little trouble with it and I just left it and I couldn't do anything but if you are able to then great I wasn't able to but it's okay
and that's how you make a paper rose. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you are new, please subscribe if you want to watch more DIY videos, and see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. My Instagram is quiet underscore crafty 172.